My name is Manuel Delgado, and I'm a third-generation Old World Luthier. The business started in 1928. My grandfather and my great-uncle are from uh, Torreon, Coahuila, in Mexico. They were orphans, and uh, they eventually ran off, and my uh, great-uncle became a musician. My grandfather was building furniture. And some of the guys would bring instruments to my grandfather and ask him to fix them. And they'd say, come on, it's made out of wood, you can fix it. So he would start to repair them. He used to tell me that it would cost him five to six pesos to build the guitar, but he could only sell it for three. So it wasn't very lucrative at the time. But um, eventually they got a reputation for uh, building and repairing instruments. And then, uh, much like many immigrant stories, my grandfather and his brother, they left their families behind and came to the United States in the hopes and dreams of building a better life for their family. And they started up a shop in East, East LA in Boyle Heights. My father followed in the footsteps of my uh, grandfather and my great uncle and took it to new levels. And uh, I grew up in the shop, so I didn't know any different. Our business is, it's a family business, and family is the most important word in that whole sentence. When I'm in the shop and I'm actually working on the instruments, that's when I feel the closest to my father and my grandfather, because I still feel that they're guiding me. I always tell people that I have over 90 years of experience, and it's because they shared with me the errors or the mistakes that were made so that I wouldn't make them again. My grandfather would say, like, despacito porque llevamos prisa. Take your time because we're in a hurry. And that, that applies to so many things because he means take your time and do it right the first time because we're in a hurry. We don't have time to keep doing it over and over and over again. The skill that I have, I thank God for the ability to be able to move my fingers and all that, but it's, it was a gift that was passed down from my father and my grandfather. So I couldn't be doing what I was doing today if it were not for them. Hey, all right, you ready to get to work, Mama? All right, put your apron on. My kids are my everything. And having Ava, um, being a part of the business and wanting to be a part of it. She's 10 years old now, and she's somebody who takes interest in life, I think. I love, I love to watch her because she's game for just about anything. And the shop is one of those things. You can start, start further down, all the way from the bottom. And we had been talking for some time about, hey, we should get in the shop, you should build something. And she goes, I want to make a mandolin without even pausing. I was like, where the heck did that come from? You know, she's never played a mandolin before or anything. But I quickly, the voice in my head said, shut up. And you asked her, so do what she wants to do. So I was like, OK. But she did it all by herself. And it was her unique body style. And uh, she kept notes throughout there. I helped with a couple of things. But, um, but yeah, I'm, it's, I mean, I'm super proud of her. She, she did a great job. For me, if I'm going to pass any wisdom down to my children, it's just going to be what was taught to me. My dad used to say, you always start with the end in mind. And, you know, he was telling me when we were building instruments, but I take that when I knew we were going to have a baby, what kind of a father do I want to be? When I knew I was going to have a daughter, what kind of a, of a father do I want to be raising a daughter? You know, oh, I want to make sure that I'm raising her to, to know that she's capable of a lot more My family is everything to me, and um, I just want to try to do things better. My dad, he was a great father. But, you know, cancer is 
It doesn't care. <laughs> My dad was uh, 52 when he passed away. And boxing, I don't know if it's if it's just that I love the sport or it's I love the sport because I did it with my dad, but he's been gone for 22 years and I still use his boxing gloves. So I think uh, everything is just to be connected to him, to be uh, a way to honor him and remember him. I want my girls to have that kind of experience and respect and I want them to have fond memories of their father and the time we had together and what we did together. Para nunca